Hey guys, welcome to class and we have push day today and we'll start with uh, chest press and then moving on into triceps. So let's go ahead and set up for chest press first. Place one loop, one big loop right here. And today we are still on our third, third week of the challenge. Going strong. Uh, yesterday's class I did add a little extra time mobility in between exercises and I think that was very beneficial so I will repeat that today okay so there you go so I have the band like this around and place your thumb right in front of the X and over like that okay take your hair out of the way or you can put it up with an elastic. Okay, so here we go. Get yourself set up. And let's get ready. Light grade, chest press. Here we go. And push. Seven, eight, nine, ten. Can we do ten more? Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three. Two, I think we can do more. Let's aim for 10 more, here we go. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three. Keep going, keep going, you got this. Two, one, work with partials. Five, four, three, two, one, woo! I did 30 there, that's a record. Now, just put your hand through and let's just place this aside. And I know this one's definitely a little tricky to put, put it back on, but I'm telling you, it is worth it because our chest breath really gets us out of breath. So you can go ahead and just take a little breather if you wanna keep the sling on you, that's totally fine too. And if you have it around you, you can just kind of rock from side to side, big toes together, heels apart, take a seat on your heels, and just take a nice long deep breath all the way inhaling through your nose. And let the air out all the way out through your mouth, relaxing the shoulders, just really letting those muscles that we just worked, those push muscles, the chest muscles, we just worked, just let that nice and relaxed because the tricep curls with with working here it's you're still working around this area so it's nice to just give yourself some time you can push pause on the video or just close your eyes and just work with your breath take a nice long deep breath all the way inhaling through your nose and letting the air out all the way out through your mouth let's do a deep sumo squat so you're gonna bring your feet flat on them on the floor like this and just rest your elbows if you can't bring your heels all the way down, that's okay. You can kind of just stay right here. Take a nice long deep breath. Relaxing those shoulders. Bring your hands down to the floor. Bring your knees down to the floor. And just do a couple cat and cows right here. Nice round back on your inhale. And a nice arch to back on your exhale. Take a nice long deep breath as you push. This is our last one and I'll move on into triceps. And exhale, let's do that one more time. Here we go, take a nice long deep breath. All the way inhaling through your nose. Push, 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 push. And exhale, release through those shoulders. Okay, shake it off the shoulders and let's get ready for triceps. Okay, so it's the same setup here. So I have two loops 
around still, okay? Just place that around your shoulders and then overhead like that. We'll move the hair out of the way and here we go. Okay, this gives us just a little extra time to really rest, release, relax, and let's get ready to push into those triceps. One, let's see if this, taking a little extra time will improve our performance for the next one. So if you have the log, take a peek and see how many did you do last time? Can you push a little bit more and do five more? Or even if they are partials, just pushing to your limit. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Can we do ten more? Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five. Four, three, two. Can we do partials? Work with partials. Push. Five, four, three, two, and one. Woo! All right. Keep going. If you are still doing it, that was great. Good job. Okay. Let's take. Uh, it, I'm going for overhead press next. Uh, we're just going to take a quick, quick break. Take a sip of water. This is the time. And we'll set up for overhead press. I'm using the purple band and I'm on my knees on the plate. If you are doing it on your knees and you want a little extra padding, you, know, you can put a few towels here. Or you can use the orange band so you're standing up. Okay, let's just work with a little little bit of a, of a mobility here, okay? Now, I had you do this one first, big toes together, heels apart, and take a seat. Now, with the next one, it's called dorsiflexion. It's when you place the ball of the feet down, and you're kind of just sitting on your heels. And this is pretty, all we're going to do is just going to rest your hand right here on your thighs. And as you take an inhale... You're going to elevate the shoulders up to the ears. And then as you exhale, you're going to release your shoulders all the way down to your back pocket. So think about like if you have back pockets on the back of your shorts, of your, of your pants. Take a nice long deep breath as we elevate the shoulders. We bring it up, we shrug the neck. And then as you let the air out, release the shoulders down and back. Let's do that for three more counts. Take an inhale deep. Exhale, release. <sighs> Meanwhile, your feet is being stretched out. Two more, take a deep breath in. Exhale, release. <sighs> Last one, take a nice long deep breath. And exhale through the mouth as you release the shoulders down and back. <sighs> all the way out and back okay good let's set up for overhead press one big loop i'm using the purple band from serious steel get all right here we go so i'll take a peek see how many i did last time i'll try to push over okay I did 15 and about five partials. So here we go. Let's see how it is. If you're taking us a little break in between. You ready? And push. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six, seven, eight, nine, until ten is, is easy. Ten. Oh, 
it starts to get a little harder here, so push through it. Can we do 10 more? 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, partials, three, two, one, woof, okay, wow, that's something, let's go into a Z pose, so take a little break, here, bring one leg in front of you, I'm going to lift my pants so you can see, okay, so one leg is right in front of you like this, and one leg goes back, all right, and then you're going to bring your hands forward, and just very gentle, start bending your elbows and going down. And then push off the floor with your hands all the way. Let's do that for three counts. One. Working with your breath, relax the shoulders. Two. One more time. And three. Z pose on the other side. Still a little mobility here for the hips to open up and take a little break. One, other side, and push. And two, and push. If you'd rather, you can also just stay down and just relax, release. I'm going to face this way here. Relax, release, work with your breath and back now let's do a crossed leg okay so you're going to cross one ankle on top of the other like this and bring one hand forward one hand back also just very gentle shifting your weight forward and back like this just working with your breath let's switch it up cross the other way cross right on the ankle and just nice and gentle Moving forward and back for three, for two, for one. Let's finish it up with a deep sumo squat. So you place your feet flat on the mat like this, pointing your toes out to the side a little bit and see how far down you can get and just rest. Let's get ready for front squats. So with this one, um, we really get out of breath, so it's nice to be nice and rested. Okay, so go ahead and set up your band. I'm using the um, I'm using the dark gray for this one. So go ahead and remove your purple band or whatever band where you're using. Let's put that aside. And. I have here the dark gray. It's awesome that we can keep, even uh, doing the, the little extra time in between, you know, it, it still keeping the, the workout within 15 minutes. So we're 13 minutes in, we took nice breaks in between and this is our last one and if you're doing split squat later then definitely take a little extra time after this exercise all right here we go so the deep sumo squat is nice to practice this uh, called deep sumo squat when your your heels are down like this and this is not an easy position to get to it takes a little practice uh, or a lot of practice at times because it, then it gets you into this position here your toes are forward that's the only difference right take your hair out of the way bring your elbows nice and wide make sure it's balanced and here we go and push One. I'm going to readjust here because my shirt got caught up. So I'm going to restart. 
That's a good thing when you're not you wear a long sleeve. It gets a little tricky. But it's summer now here finally, so I'm kind of glad. All right, deja vu. Here we go. And push. One. Two. Three. Good job. Keep going. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Can we do ten more? Here we go. Ten. Nine. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three, two, one, work with partials, five, four, three, two, one, Woo. lie down onto your back, bring your feet nice and wide, arms all the way over, just take a nice long deep breath. All the way inhaling through your nose and letting the air out all the way out through your mouth. And take your time before you come up into standing, rolling over to your side. Pushing off with your arm. And well done today, everybody. And I will see you all here tomorrow.